right, guys, let's get this thing both front wheels taken off and change out this front differential, guys. Here's the new one in the back. Got to get it prepped up, ready to install. All right, guys, we got both wheels off. We're going to try to get this thing out of here really, really quickly, guys. Um, I'm using air, so I'm trying to get this thing out here quickly. I'm going to show you guys the quickest method possible, but look, what's the problem, guys? Look at this. It's getting worse and worse and worse. Look at it. It was just a small slit. Now it's all the way around. So there's movement out of here. So uh, we're going to get this thing out of here. There's a hanger here. We're going to use a... Uh, Flat baby screwdriver to get that off. So first thing we're doing, guys, we're gonna drill. Uh, we may just take these off. 11 millimeter, guys. Remove this back out of our way. I'll be doing a uh, fuel pump job in this truck too, guys, in a couple days. But this is first, because this is getting terrible. So 11 millimeter, let's get this off first, guys. And then we're gonna shoot the axles off really quick. So 11 millimeter, I'm gonna use a ratchet wrench to take these off. And we may have to stick a pry bar in there to keep the from moving. Quite sure. It's Next thing we're gonna get is these guys. Uh, we're gonna use a long extension and an air gun. We're gonna drill these off and I'll just spin it each time we, we go. So let me set up for that right now. The 15 millimeter. Okay guys, so this is my approach. We're gonna shoot this thing off and rotate it. All right, guys, this side is completely done. I'm gonna do the other side, I'm not gonna film it. And then we're gonna get up under here and start taking uh, things off. All right, guys, here go the plug. Uh, just wanna get behind it. Back it up off of here. This one's blue, mine is black. Both of our 99. As far as this clip, open this. So let me remove the plug, guys. This vent, this is for vent, guys. This vent tube. Yes, and see how it's on. So let me get those off now, and then we'll go on to the next thing under here. 
Okay, guys, this is 99. My truck is a 99, guys, and the transmission, I mean, and the the front differential that this that, that vehicle came out of was a 99 as well, but the plugs are different. I hope that don't cause us a problem. It's blue, this one's black. And these things are funny. Sometimes they're not interchangeable, and I hope that's not the case. Look at the wires real good on the other one. See how, uh, what the color is on those things. So there's that vent. To, to back it up off of here. Be careful. I don't want to break it. All right. All right, that's off of there. So there's one of the bolts. You can put a wrench on that end of the bolt. We're going to spray it real good first, guys. We're not going to take them out. We just want to remove the nut off of them. I'll show you guys in a second. We're not going to take them all the way out. Uh, let's do that now. And then we'll get this one back here. Right here. This one don't look as bad. So let's drill those out. Guys, I got the wrench there, and I'm using a 22 millimeter wrench. It's kind of a little loose on there. Uh, 13 16 is tight, and it's 21 millimeter, guys, will work. I use a 13 16, so I'm going to drill this off. So that's out, guys. You don't don't remove this one or this one yet, guys. Don't remove these yet. Now let's get these out, and then we'll remove those. So let's get these out first, and um, we'll probably tap around these. I see these are rusted on here. We'll tap around with a hammer and get them to break freely before we pull it down. So. These are next. Maybe the air can drill them off. They're 21 millimeter, but a 13, 16 fit. It's perfect on here too. So we're gonna get these off right now. I don't, use, I don't need the swivel. We're gonna stick a, a socket on the back side of this. So we're gonna stick a socket in the back side of both and get those off. But let's see if the air drills it off without the whole thing spinning out. Thirteen, sixteen. Socket is spinning. The whole thing is spinning, though. Mm. Hi, right, guys. These are seeds on here, so. You gotta free these axles. So I'm gonna take a hammer and beat them and free them. And then we move our two bolts and we gonna pull this thing down, guys.
guys. What you want to do is turn the steering wheel to the far right. Uh, let me show you guys. Turn the key for it. So you want to go this way, far right, far as you can turn it, and um, you'll get it out. So far right, guys, towards the passenger side, and um, wiggle it, and it'll drop right down. What happens is the idle arm swings far over, and it allows you to get this. Um, it allows that bushing to push past this. And you have to kind of angle it and it'll come out that way. We're going to put it back in the same way. So let me put tools up, guys. It's getting late. I'll be back out here in the morning and finish this up. Super simple job. What I noticed, too, the yoke was hitting. The yoke on the differential was hitting the oil filter. So another kind of method, remove that oil filter and it gives you enough space to tilt it upward um, to pull it out. Okay, let's look at the plug also. The wires on this plug is identical to the wires on the plug that um, the blue plug, although the plugs are different colors, the wires are in the same spot. You can see the black wire, got a, we got a black wire up top, try to zoom in. Black wire up top, a brown wire, a white or grayish wire with a black stripe, and a black wire at the end with a black, with a black stripe. All right guys, so like I said, the plug is blue, wires are identical, which is great. So never mind if the plug is different. As long as the wires match up and they're in the same exact spot. Look at this guy. Let me show you how bad this was. Kind of get a glimpse of how terrible this was. You can see all the way through, guys. This is on his last leg. Like I said, I could have removed. I could have saved this, but I don't know how much damage this has suffered. But because listen, listen to this, guys. I'm going to spin the yoke. Look at this. Listen to that knock. Terrible now. Listen to this one. Nothing. Super smooth. Alright guys, so uh we'll be putting this in, in the morning. Let's put the tools away. Alright, it's 13 millimeter. This is the drain plug, fuel plug. First. Fifteen millimeter for the top. All right, guys, we got this thing prepped to go in. I'll leave the fuel screw out. I've installed a, a drain plug already. So uh, let's get this thing back in here, guys. All right, guys, before we go back in, we want to give ourselves all the room we possibly can have. So I know I was coming out with it. The yoke on the front differential was hitting the oil filter, so I removed it. It's time for oil change anyway. Just changed it, took the oil out, um, um, add some fresh oil in this thing, and um, get that out of our way. We need as much clearance as possible as we um, kind of angle it uh, back off in that direction to get it to clear this. Center link, so I think we're all good. Hey guys, since I'm by myself, the goal is to get the one, one of these bolts in, the bottom one preferably. Uh, these bolts actually look good. They look all rusted out at first. To hold the bottom uh, mount in place to hold this up so we can um, start bolting this thing up. So.
All right, guys, we're in there. Perfectly, both screws. Like I say, remove that oil filter, guys, and you won't have no problem getting up in, uh, up there with the uh, front differential. It's, uh, uh, it's not that heavy at all, guys. As you can see, one man can do it um, easily. Um, just kind of get it on your chest and bench press it up. I'm not gonna film uh, me bolting up every bow. It's super simple here on out, but I will show um, the after guys. So I'm gonna finish this up. Just want to show the hard part of reinstalling this uh, piece. So uh, let me bolt up everything guys and I'll be back with this completely finished. And then I'll be removing the gas tank for a new fuel pump. And I'm gonna change that draft shaft out because the U-joints are terrible on that draft shaft. So I got another one. So uh, stay tuned for those videos. But um, I'll be back with this to finish this out in a second. All right, guys, I got the oil, the SCP oil filter deal, 5W30, some high mileage oil, um, um, STP treatment, oil treatment, which I recommend. But they, had, they didn't have any Lucas. I don't only buy Lucas, guys, but I went with the STP brand. And let me show you guys what to do. You want to install that filter to make it a little bit convenient for yourself. Install the oil filter before you bolt up the drive shaft, the front shaft. So, you guys see the brand. So, I'm with the STP everything. So, let's uh, bolt this up now, guys, and finish up this. Um, all the bolts are here, there. All of them tightened down. I'm gonna show you guys the the uh, milk the the manual I have, guys. The manual for this. I think it's Haynes or Children. It doesn't show any torque specs for this, so I kind of went online and didn't find anything, but um, I kind of tightened them down to where um, I've done this quite a few times. So yeah, if you can find the torque specs online, you can leave them in the um, comment section. But yeah, no torque specs, just tighten them down. I'll show you guys the book and the torque specs they do show in the book. I put the fuel plug in too, guys. It was still some uh, gear oil inside of the differential, so it was spilling when I turned it. And I also tied this um, axle up. I used the stretcher and positioned it in the corner right here so it made the differential go up really easy. All right, guys. Uh, we got this. We're using some 7590, guys, and we uh, get, got this. We're going to use this to fill, the, fill it up with. This takes quarts and gallons. I got a few of these, so just think everybody, if you work on cars, these are kind of cool. They're cheap. They're good to have. All right, guys, we're bolted in. Everything's perfect. Plugs plugged in. So we're gonna fill it up now. Thir this is 13 millimeter, 15 millimeter. We wanna fill it until it starts running out. So I'm gonna start pumping it in there, guys. 75, 90 weight. And um, put the tires back on. We're gonna close this video out, guys. All right, guys, took, it was still some um, oil in here didn't drain all the way out, so I got two quarts in here. And um, two quarts on here, two quarts uh, went in here and filled it up. All right, guys, it's a wrap for this thing. Everything is like perfectly installed, done. Fresh fluid, fresh everything. So if you found this video helpful, guys, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you guys be notified when I upload new content. Please like the video, guys. We gotta get these bikes up and um, share, tearing some out. So, just test the four wheel drives out, guys. And it's back perfect. Go back into the, these lights weren't even working anymore. Okay, I'm out of four wheel drive. Into smooth. So, we're gonna come and stop sign. We're gonna go to four wheel drive again. So it's smooth. It wasn't doing any of that, guys. It was over with. And now I'm in four wheel drive. It's riding smooth. No more noises.